Hello everybody, my name is Superstro, welcome to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Now, this is a let's play that I am not so sure about because it's, it's on temperamental software, I guess you could say, and hardware. Um, I say this pretty much every let's play, my computer can't handle certain things. This is a PSP game, um, and, and it's Kingdom Hearts, and I want to do it justice because it's Kingdom Hearts. It's a very good game, and, and um, yeah, my computer... It's on an emulator, as you can tell, because I, I, I don't have capture cards on my handheld devices, and I don't have a capture card for, like, PS2 or Wii or anything like that, so I couldn't possibly bring you any, uh, of, the, any of the other Kingdom Hearts games. And so, not only that, but I'm also not too well-versed in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. I mean, I like it, and I'm only recent recently got into it, maybe about a year ago or so, so I haven't played very many of the games. Um... And because, well, first of all, they're really hard to find with like the PS2 games. Uh, luckily, I have a friend who, who's who's really into it, and I have all that. So I'm gonna start off. I want to do this, but but like, yeah, I really want to play some some itching, some itching. I, I I meant to say I really want to play some Kingdom Hearts. I'm itching for it, but I said I really want to play some itching. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna go with standard mode. Uh, there's the secret movie. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Okay, let me give you some background on this story, on this on this game. Uh, First of all, it houses one of my favorite characters in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, I'm pretty bad at these games because I haven't played them for that long. So even though the secret movie is probably easier in, you know, proud and critical, I'm probably going to go with just standard. Um, also, I'm going to hope there's nothing that goes wrong with this series because with emulators, you can't be too sure. Uh, I've tried other PSP games like Marvel's Alliance 2 because I really did want to bring you that. Um, it didn't seem to work as well. This I've tried, like I've watched pretty much all the beginning cutscenes, um, and they and, and the debating gameplay, and it seems to work pretty smoothly, um, with very little hiccups, if any. Maybe like a, a, an audio jitter that lasts like a second or two, but nothing big. Um, so I I have played parts of this game, uh, but not the full thing, and I'll you'll understand how later on. But I'm gonna shut up now for the opening cutscene that'll last a really long time. Alright guys, so originally I had intended to not talk over this cutscene because obviously it's the intro and it's real special and it needs to be amazing. And so this is post commentated. The reason for that being is that YouTube's stupid uh, copyright claim bot thingy. So what I did was I, I edited the video, uh, you know, I made it, I was all excited to have the new series going. I, um, I rendered it, which took a long time because it's a 39 minute video. Uploaded it, which took a long time because it's a 39 minute video. Uh, and then, and then immediately after it processed, I got I got an email saying copyright claim by a stupid Japanese company that makes this music. So the music in this cutscene, I can't, I don't know why. I, I guess, I mean, everyone does Kingdom Hearts intros and they don't talk over it and it's just fine. Uh, but I guess all those videos have been, all the ones I've watched have been put up before the the uh, copyright bot went up. So I have to talk over this cutscene, unfortunately, and ruin the amazing music. You can still watch the cutscene, and what I'm saying is probably meaningless. So you can just watch the cutscene, and unfortunately, have to listen to my uh, voice. That's very jarring from the from the, from the intense music, and, uh, and and this. This is the exact part right here where I got copyright claim for this exact scene. Um, Anyway, so I'm just going to talk over it, and if they claim me again, I'm going to be like, nah, I'm going to deny that claim, because I'm, I've, and now it's fair use because I'm talking over it. So it's just a fact of life that I have to do. Because stupid, money-grabbing, freaking people thingies. I don't know. Anyway, so... Ooh, got a stitch in the background there. So I really hope you're enjoying... Uh, you're going to enjoy the series, rather, I guess, because I haven't really released anything yet at this time, because now I'm still working on episode one. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I, have to, I just have to keep talking because I don't want to have any silent points where they'd be like, nope, you didn't talk, it's mine, ha ha ha, and they're gonna sound like a weird Mickey, no, ha ha ha, anyway, I have an interesting bank story, I might as well go ahead and say, I'm not sure exactly how much longer there's to the cutscene, because I'm looking at the time right, timeline right now, uh, is it done? Maybe it's done, hold on, I, I, if, I, if it's so, then I'm not gonna tell my bank story, I went to the bank today, and opened a bank account for school, because uh, I need that and it's funny because I, I was it's actually an unpleasant experience but for the wrong reasons 
It was unpleasant because everyone was so nice. And I'm like, dude, dude, this is not right. This is a bank. This is a place of business. There should be no smiles. There should be no friendliness. This is not a social meeting place. This is a bank. Get it together and be more serious and stop being so friendly towards me because it physically hurt me to have that, that much friendliness there. And now I'm done. Uh, so enjoy the rest of the video because now the cutscene's over and I've sort of told you, or intro, and I've sort of told you my bank story. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and the rest of the series. This world is just too small. see an empty world like a prison i imagine you will be right at home who's there I'm a brand new heart. But this is... Why are you in my heart? The light brought me. I saw it shining in the distance. And followed it here. Yeah. That was my light. But my heart is fractured. You should join your heart with mine. Huh? Now our hearts have touched. Nothing else will slip away. And one day, You'll be strong enough to win back the part that already did. Right. Thanks. It's time to wake up now. All we, all we need to do is... Open the door. Yeah, that's creepy.
Keyblade. Meteor shower. can't see much from here. Alright then, well let's head out. We are to take control of Ventus here, right at the beginning. Um, so back to what I was saying, because there's not much else I can say at this point. So we have the attack button, we can jump, and that's pretty much it. We can change the, the camera and we can walk. And that's all we can do right now. Um, so yeah, I don't know all the ins and outs of the story in terms of... Uh, because the Kingdom Hearts game, whole franchise has a quite quite a vast and convoluted plot, if you will. And I understand the basic plot, but uh, I, I don't know all the ins and outs of it. Luckily, this game right here, pretty. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some Easter eggs and, and whatnot, and maybe some references to other story plot thingies. But uh, I won't probably pick up on them in this game. Um, yeah. And it tells you to attack the ring. So, one of the reasons I chose to do this was because it's one of the games that I can actually record properly and bring to you guys, hopefully. Uh, another reason being is that it sort of, it's sort of separate from the other games. I mean, kind of, but not really. Um, what? You want a piece of me too? Yes, this inanimate thingy wants a piece of you. So it's telling you to use uh, deck commands so we can be like, haha, use one. It was the quick blitz. And then you can hit L and R at the same time to lock on. And that's all it wanted you to do. So this game is, is in terms of timeline, this is the very first game in terms of timeline. Because this happens way before Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, like, a few years before Kingdom Hearts 1. So, I can play this game without it spoiling much about the other games. Like, if I were to play Kingdom Hearts 2, just, I don't know, Wait, and then play Chain of Memories, and then play the 1, show. everything would be out of... You'd probably be really confused. And then everything would be out of whack. So, if I want to play Kingdom Hearts game on my channel, this is probably where I should start, because it doesn't really interfere with any of the other stories. Which is one of the things I like about it. Wow. I also feel like I'm talking really quiet. I don't know. Why does it seem so familiar? 
It's the same sky you look up every night? Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But, did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Mm -hmm. You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Tara. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, wow. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells, <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well, that's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. So that whole opening cutscene is very, very reminiscent of the opening cutscene from Kingdom Hearts 1. That whole, you know, Ventus is lying down. And then, and then you know, Aqua walks over him and does the whole laughy thing. And it's, like, it's, it's pretty much taken straight out of Kingdom Hearts 1 with different characters. And that's probably and the whole you know, good luck charm everything it's because and then, then you know Tara walks well, in tomorrow's the exam anybody want to spar I can take you and into Jackson all that and this is gonna be like the first teaching well fighting tutorial basically uh, but we're playing with Tara now anyway yes yeah, so it's, it's very obvious that these characters are supposed to be early versions of um, Sora Kairi and Riku because you have you know Sora with in the sky we have Kyrie, which means C, and we have. Oh, I should attack. And we have um, Riku, which means Earth or Land or whatever it is. In Japanese, those names are. And then in this game, we've. Um, he's not losing any health. This is clearly not meant to be a thing that is for killing. Although I think it's trying to tell you to block. There you go. Quit going easy on me. You're not gonna win unless you stay on the offensive. So these characters are Ventus, Terra, and Aqua, which are all Latin for, you know, Ventus being air, I believe, or wind, wind or air, or something like that. 
um, Aqua being water and Terra being land. So they're so they're very clearly early versions of, of, of the uh, characters from Kingdom Hearts one and two. And, you know, the main basically those are considered the main characters. So you have to do a finish command there if you want to progress there. By doing finish commands, you have to attack and use command uh, commands, and then and then you'll you'll build up your command bar and stuff like that. You can just read the tutorials on screen. I, I don't really explain it. I don't need to explain it that much. Well, that works fine if you're fighting one on one, but you need to know how to handle a crowd too. So all these characters are early Keyblade users. Um, oh, now we're Aqua, and then we have the Shot Lock command. So what you do is there is basically you you hold on to that, and you'd be like, boom, and then she just shoots a bunch of things at at the people you've targeted. You have to hit X, by the way, to, to actually do the attack. You shot lock focus with the L and R, and then you have to actually hit X to, 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 to initiate the attack. Okay, let's wrap this up. Yeah, so these are all Keyblade users, so which kid do you want to fight? Uh, Aqua. Yeah, so these are like before Sora and, and what's it called. And this could technically ruin uh, some of the story... I mean, it's not really gonna ruin the story for you. Uh, uh, stop it! Stop it! Oh, I love her shield. It's cool. There, you're dead. Looks like I win. I don't think it's gonna ruin the story for you, though. My friend said that you shouldn't do it. Uh, I don't want to spar again. My friend said I shouldn't play this game because I might ruin something. I didn't really. He doesn't really. So I don't think there's an issue. Trust me, you guys are ready. You're gonna clean up at the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said, power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. All right, so power is born within your heart. During the travels, you can find new strength by playing on the command board. If this game, in this game, you roll the dice, power up commands as you make your way along the board. Uh, just some, just some other stuff. I'll figure it out, guys. I mean, I haven't played this game in like a year. Oh. I don't know it too well. It'd probably well, mostly be blind anyway. And I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to, you know, play this game with uh, utmost efficiency. Because I don't know it very well. It's just a fun game, though. Let's save. That was really quick. Uh, creates, yes. Wait, so did it save? Yeah, it did, okay. Hey, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Ventus is such a child compared to the two of them. He just piles around with them. Eh, whatever. He's a cool character. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. <laughs> Mickey. Oh, he's so funny even when he's in danger. Just whoa, whoa. Those the eyes, man. Merlin's eyes? Ugh. That was Merlin, right? I'm pretty sure. Or whoever the wizard. It, it doesn't matter who it is. His eyes are creepy as crap. 
Alright, so in this game you can choose one character at a time and complete his or her story from start to finish. Each character visits different places and meets different people, and only by finishing all three stories will you uncover this tale's deeper truths. So now it'll ask you which character you want to play as. Okay, so let's just go through them. Terra, a disciplined young man who feels compelled to find greater strength. He relies on brute force in combat, much like Riku. Uh, Ventus, an outgoing and inquisitive boy who holds his Keyblade backhand. Quick attacks are his forte, much like Sora. Uh, a kind young woman whose sense of right and wrong never wavers. She is nimble and a gifted mage, much like Kyrie. Although Kyrie doesn't really fight, but I'm just saying that's that's what it is basically. These can be considered those characters in this game. Anyway, so the three stories, obviously, you can tell. I Aqua. Okay, let me just say Aqua is my favorite character by far. Of the, uh, not by far, perhaps. She's almost tied with Axel, but she is my favorite character in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Why? We'll get into that later. Um, so I don't want to start with her. I want to save her for the end, which means I'm going to pick between Terra and Ventus. I think I'll just go down the line and start with Terra, because he's my least favorite, and I want to get him out of the way first. Um, and I haven't actually played his story. I played v half of Ventus's and Aqua's, but I've never played Terra's. I know I know what it is, but I haven't played it. Uh, so let's do that. Play as Terra? Yes. Although Terra does look really cool. I like his like sh shoulder armor kind of thingy. It's cool. All the character designs in this are pretty pretty amazing. Aqua's still the best, though. Just saying. And her shoes are cool, too. And that beard is strangely familiar. Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. on the exam but Ven you're in danger here go wait in your room no way I've been looking forward to this seeing you two become masters I'm not gonna miss it now he could take care of himself he's been out there training just as hard as us yeah stay sharp then Alright, so we gotta destroy the orbs of light. Can't use any of my commands just yet. There we go. Um, yeah, so we're just. This exam is clearly going wrong. Xehanort, I mean, just from the look of his eyes, you know he's evil. Um, and the fact that he messed with this is, is also an indication. Maybe he's not evil, though. Maybe he's just strangely creepy and he wants to test us uh, more than our master would ever dare test us because he doesn't want to, you know, be crazy. Who knows? Anyway, oh god, oh god! I keep missing, stop it. There. Stop moving so fast, god damn it. I keep missing with my finish attack, too. That's the sad part. Are they ever gonna end? I wonder. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I played this game, I don't even remember any of it. Oh, what are you doing? There we go. Die, 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 die. There we go. Ma oh, and they got maximum HP increase. Learn critical impact. So that's a level up. A level up, I said. Level up. With a very sharp P. Uh, if you fill up the command, the deck commands, blah, blah, blah. You can, yeah, you can, you can upgrade your... Unexpected. 
but one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Sorry for that. Now, hit the mic. Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! <laughs> have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's got to break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. Sorry. But I need some time alone. There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. <laughs> you are indeed strong. The darkness has nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still... You would never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanar. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sin. As you know, he is master no more. But he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat. One that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, 
you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the unversed and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, Remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go and fulfill your duty. Yes, yes master. master. Terra, consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know. I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? Terra, you mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power, and obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Tara! I, I... It's okay. So they can sort of just turn their keyblades into flying thingies and just go anywhere they want. <laughs> Sora, you are so outclassed. Uh, yeah, tell me about doing things and D-Links and I don't honestly care. I'll figure it out as I go along. Oh yeah, D-Link can be useful, I, I, whatever. Who cares about doing that stuff? Anyway, unlock the command board for the land of departure. So this is like how you get to other worlds. It's kind of like the, the, the whole game map thingy. Um, but uh, the, I don't know how long this episode has been going on. Probably a long time. It's just, I apologize if you don't like long episodes. It's just how it is. Um, all the initial cutscenes and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely leave a like for the new series. Especially if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. Even if you're not, this might get you into the series. Probably it's not the best game to get you into the series. But it still will show you pretty much how the game runs. Um, at least this one is with the whole command deck style. It's more of a new thing because that original games didn't use that. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.